How's it going everybody? Landon with Late Model Restoration. In this installment of LMR Basics, I'll be showing you the general procedure on changing your spark plugs, and we'll be doing the work on this 1992 Fox Coupe. The spark plug is a seemingly simple device, although it does play a key role in internal combustion engines. There are three ingredients an internal combustion engine requires to operate, air, fuel, and spark. A spark plug is a vital engine component that provides the spark that then ignites the air-fuel mixture that drives an engine. In perfect circumstances and in a 100% bone stock car, an extended life spark plug is engineered to last 100,000 miles. Of course, that change interval will drastically be altered based off of tuning and modifications that are that's done to your car. It's in your best interest to check a few plugs every oil change or after serious modifications and our tuning to make sure the car is running efficiently. To change the spark plugs in your Mustang, you're going to need a few tools. You will need a spark plug socket, a socket set, and a simple gap tool to properly gap the plugs for your application. In our case, factory gap for this car is 54 thousandths. That, of course, will differ based off of plug choice and modifications. To get started, pop the hood and disconnect the negative battery cable. Remove the factory air box if equipped. Disconnect all the plug wires on both the driver and passenger sides. Take a 5 8 inch spark plug socket and socket wrench, or in this case, an opened in wrench. Loosen and remove plugs 1, 2, 3, and 4. Take your new spark plugs and gap tool, and then gap the plugs to the factory specifications of 54 thousandths are the recommended gap for your application. This is simply done by lightly prying up on the spark plug gap tool to widen the distance between the center and ground electrodes. Go ahead and do this for all eight plugs. Once the plugs are gapped, apply a small amount of anti-seize to the threads. Thread the plugs in by hand and then torque to five to 15 pound feet depending on your application. On the driver's side, it may help if you loosen and position the dipstick out of your way. Go ahead and repeat the previous steps for cylinders 5, 6, 7, and 8. Don't forget to reposition the dipstick if you moved it. Now you can reconnect your plug wires or take the time to update those along with some plug wire dividers as well. Be sure and check out our detailed plug wire install which will be available in the description or the card in the upper right hand corner. While you're at it, a new distributor and cool cover wouldn't hurt the underhood appearance as well. Once complete, reconnect the negative battery cable and start the car. Take it for a test drive and make sure none of the plug wires are touching the header primaries. That completes a successful spark plug change. Installation time will obviously vary depending on the individual and the setup you have. However, this one should take you no more than an hour from start to finish and is a perfect weekend job. Until next time guys, go ahead and subscribe to our YouTube channel if you haven't already done so. Be sure and pick up, pick up a new set of spark plugs, plug wires, and the related components from the Real Mustang Enthusiasts, LMR.com.